Hey guys, Greg from Faction Fab here to talk about turbo blankets. These have multiple benefits for helping your turbocharged vehicle operate at peak performance, even on a 100% stock vehicle with no need for supporting modifications or tunes. Basic law of thermodynamics, hot air has more volume, while cold air is more dense. Ideally, you want the air going into the motor to be as cool and dense as possible, as more air equals more power. This is the purpose of an intercooler. But the air coming out is a different story. If you can keep the air hot as it travels through the headers and turbos, you will have more volume and will maintain a higher air velocity through the turbine, which leads to a quicker spool time. The turbo blanket is huge in helping both of those things, keeping heat in the exhaust side and preventing heat soak in the intercooler. Take a look at these thermal images showing a before and after installing a Faction Fab Lava Turbo Blanket. The color on the images is pretty close, but if you look at the scale on the right, you will see the stock one has a much higher threshold, showing that the temperatures coming off of the turbo are much higher, where the Faction Fab shows a reduction in almost 200 degrees across the board. The Faction Fab blanket comes in two different material options, a black fiberglass and a lava. The lava is rated for higher temperatures and suited for more aggressive driving or warmer climates, while the black is a slightly less expensive and sleeker alternative. Our turbo blankets do have one huge advantage over other turbo blankets. They are designed specifically to fit the Subaru turbos, being 3D stitched to conform to the curves while being trimmed around the components. This gives you a tighter fit on the turbo, and that means it does a better job at controlling the heat. These blankets also fit underneath the stock heat shield, giving you an option to have double the protection. There are two different styles that are designed to fit all stock location turbos, one specific to the EJ model Subarus and another for the FA models. Install is pretty straightforward once you get into the car, but it is really tight quarters. So we're gonna do a side-by-side -side shot comparison of installing one of these turbo blankets on our 2008 STI, some in the car and some here at the table. Let's get started. Once we have the intercooler off, all we need to do is undo the bolts holding the heat shield on the turbo. These are all 10 millimeter bolts. First thing we're going to do is we're going to divide this wire in half. Regular pair of pliers and we'll just trim it. So the other one aside for now and here's our wire. This is just regular stainless wire so if you happen to run out or um, need more for some reason you can go to most hardware stores will carry something like this. So then we just take our turbo blanket and we start to tuck it down inside. You can see it does fit right around the wastegate here and then there's room for the oil lines and coolant lines over on this side. It should be very easy to get right in place. Now the easiest way I think to do it is you just take your wire make a small loop and hook it on this. And then just take your small end of the wire and start wrapping it around this hook. And keep in mind, this is kind of sharp. So if you, you don't want something sharp hanging out too far, uh, if you're ever working on the car, you know, I've seen this cause some cuts. So then once you have that side down, you are going to feed the wire 
underneath the turbo, um, around to the other side. And then just start to make your loop and pull it tight. Then make your loop again on this side. And this one we are gonna trim again just because we have plenty of left over here. We'll trim it really close and then push that down in. And then we do the same thing on the other two hooks here. going to feed it down through underneath the turbo. And hook it on the other hook. So this doesn't need to be super tight on the turbo um, because it's 3D stitch. It's not gonna take up a lot of room and it does have really good coverage. So you just want it to be snug against the turbo. All done. Now, if you are the type of person who likes to do things a professional way, uh, there are specialized tools you can use for lock wire, um, something that is just like this. And I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work. So this one, what you wanna do is you'll wanna make a loop um, about halfway through your wire and then pull it all the way to the other side and then make your loop back the other way. So now I have the two ends here hanging off the turbo. So you'll take this tool and you wanna get it pretty close to tight, but still leave some room. And then you squeeze and this will lock in place. Pull this and it will twist the wire. This does two things. It will pull it in to be where you want it to be and then also creates a nice little ending for that. And then just simply squeeze and then you have your things to trim the end here. And then you just fold this in so it's out of the way. Now, either way to do this will be fine. Um, you'll see I just use the first method where you just wrap it around the post um, this method can be a little bit easier, but also getting a pair of pliers in that tight space can be a little bit difficult. So it's really whatever is up to you. Um, there's not a bad way to do it. You just wanna make sure that the blanket is snug against the turbo, not too tight, and the stainless wire should hold up to whatever you put it through. So then we are gonna put on our heat shield. So you can see the heat shield was pretty easy to fit on top of the blanket. I like to show mine off a little bit, so I'm gonna leave the heat shield off and just show the faction of that blanket because it looks really good at that logo right on top. Just a little hidden gem for someone who looks a little closer. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below or hit us up on our social media on Facebook or Instagram. And thanks for watching. We will talk to you next time. Bye.